create a function which is called test and you want to basically add it so like that okay so now we create a controller here okay and in here we're going to create user dot controller dot js okay const test is equal to require test and then close it like this okay and in here we have response whatever that code was remember this was the thing response request response and response dot send right so response dot send and then we have hello from test api okay we're just going to remove that and this is our function um which is good but what we want to do is we want to basically use that and export it right so what we could do is right now and this is at that's pretty much it uh, we don't need to basically do anything we could just import it uh, in our user model so we could just say uh, import test from controllers user.controller.js as come that comes and then put test inside here so you basically you, you are using the same thing go back here you can see it's still running go here and refresh it's still working great instead of now response that's in you want response dot json okay and instead of this what you want to do is you want to say um, response dot json and you want a object and have message with hello test api so now check this out now it's just giving us in a form of a response message okay and i have this extension on that's why it's showing it like this but you can see over here message hello from test api great this is perfect and uh, we are really uh doing some good progress here let's create a sign up api route um to create a sign up api route we're just going to go to the index.js file right um and over here we're going to create a new path new route so slash api slash user right i'm going to say app.use and then we have slash api slash auth okay and then we have uh another one which is going to be called auth route auth route okay auth uh, user basically it's user uh routes and it should be called auth routes because there's going to be more than one okay so we could just add in the s over here it doesn't really matter nothing will uh break over here we're going to have import auth routes from <laughs> auth.route.js doesn't even exist so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to add that in the routes folder. So over here we have a uh, folder, we have auth.route.js and over here uh, in the auth file place, okay? So what we're gonna have here is import express from express and then we have um, const router is equal to express router and then we have router dot router dot post because we're trying to create an account so we'll say sign up sign up okay and we're going to use the sign up uh controller i'm going to have to create that now and then we have the last thing is export x no export default router okay so that basically works but now we have to create the controller here so we're going to create not here here so we're going to create a file over here what's going to be called auth dot controller dot js oh not ks but js js okay and over here what we're going to do is export const okay so um auth dot controller dot js you could just say export const sign up equal to require okay so essentially what you want to do is you're trying to create the account right so request and response and um you are going to first check the fields so you basically need your user model here so import the user model uh from the models and then user.model.js okay so what you want to do is you want to use the fields because you know that the request the request contains uh, the fields. It will contain them, and I'll show you in a second. So request. If I do req, where is it? Two. Okay. Request dot uh, body. If I do that, request. 
Okay, request.body. If I do this, okay, I'm basically getting fields. Um, and I could just extract the fields like this in a destructuring way. Um, what is it, the fields? You, I think, know because of the fact that we have them in the model. So username, email, and then password. Basically, we're trying to get all these fields, and we're trying to store them in a database. That's how we basically go about here. So first of all, we're putting some checks. I know uh, MongoDB allows that, but we're just having use, uh, extra cases. If the username is empty, email is empty, or password is empty, right? So we'll just do this. Username, email, password. If all of this stuff is empty, okay? Or if the username is triple equal to an empty string, or the email is triple equal to an empty string or or the password is equal is uh, triple equal to an empty string so what you want to do here is you want to uh, you basically want to return a response a status of 400 uh, JSON all fields are required this is a client error um, so you're basically returning a JSON response again over here, which is great. Now, what you want to do is you want to create that user, right? So basically you say const new user and you say new user from the database and you use the objects. So username, email, and password. Normally what you wouldn't, uh, okay. So what you would do is username, yeah, email, and then we have password, email, and then we have password. Okay, so normally what you would do over here, uh, which is very important to know, is that you know username is the field over there, and you would use the username field, which is coming from here. But since everything is matching, we don't have to say username colon username and email colon email because that's new ES6 way. So we're good to go like this as well. So we can put a semicolon here, and once we create this object, we could say try. We put in a try and a catch block because we have no idea if it if it's going to throw an error or not. So error, we just have response um, 500. But in the try part, what we're going to do is we're going to try to create that user. So uh, to create the user, it's super easy. We say is await, uh, and we say new user dot save. This is the function. But for await, it's giving me a problem. I have to use async here. Async means it's going to take some time. So make sure you put in the async function it means it's asynchronous function puts an a, a sync and uh, the user should be created and if if it, everything goes out well we just uh, response dot json say sign up sign up successful okay and uh, pretty much I believe that's it so somehow it's uh, okay so we have over here in the router dot post sign up and sign up sign up is not defined so what is this file it's auth dot route dot js over here auth dot route sign up sign up base is basically not even included here so you could just import sign up from controller and that's that error should go away perfect now that we could test this api but we don't have any tool use thunder client one of the best extensions so you just create a new request you are going to use the same local host uh, port 3000 which is right here just use this one and over here what you have is slash api slash auth and then we have slash sign up i believe and the thing is it's post um and you want the uh body here json so it should be json make it down a little and you basically put the field in here so what are the fields the username is the field like that and you basically put uh, abc and then we have um, email. We put them in strings like this, okay? So abc at gmail.com. And the last thing is the password, okay? And you could put the password as one, two, three. If you put a comma, there's an error, right? Just don't put a comma. And this is our object. We create it by send. Now you can see a thing crashed. It crashed. The reason it's crashing is because in index.js, we have an issue with request.body is cannot restructure property username of request.body. The reason why this is happening is that we don't allow our data Node.js backend to 
I mean, no, we don't allow our Node.js backend to accept JSON. So to go here, we basically use another thing um, to accept uh, this, you know, part, and it's all super easy. The thing that we need is go here, and uh, it's gonna be basically called. Um, Yeah, it's uh, over here, express. So app dot use. We're gonna use, and then we have express dot json. That's all we need. And it's connected again. Let's go back here. Okay, we got an error. Send it again. Okay, now when we send it, you can see. We have a two hundred status over here. Let's cross this out. And it says over here, sign up successful. Great. 200 uh, means it's good. And if we go to the database, go to browse collection, you'll see our cluster and then our users with S and then the object that's created in the database. Amazing. And remember the two extra fields that I was talking about? These are the two extra fields. Password is not encrypted. That's the problem. So what we're going to do is back here in the auth.route.js, we see this sign up, right? We go to the controller. We're going to use a package which is called bcrypt. Import bcrypt. bcrypt JS from bcrypt JS. So, what you want to do is essentially install it first. Uh, npm i bcrypt cry pt JS. Okay, install this. Okay, run. You want to basically uh, encrypt the password. So uh, you go here to the auth.controller.js, and when everything is you know good to go. You want to basically encrypt the password so you could use uh, so const hashed password hashed hashed password and you could say bcryptjs dot hash sync and then you put password in the field and you put ten salt ten rounds to so just randomly uh, and then you could basically have hash password in here so now this is gonna have the hashed password and everything else seems okay. I believe everything uh, is good to go and uh, we could now test it out. We create another user. Okay, so, you know, we just see sign up successful or anything like that. And in the error message, we get a useful error message. So let's go back here. Put this a little down. Okay, I mean, I actually want to close this. Okay, and I want to bring this up a little so that I could see actually. So if I try to create the same exact user again, it's gonna have an error and it's gonna say duplicate error key, right? We can't can't have the same username and password. So we'll say AB uh so XYZ 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 <laughs> Why did I say XYZ and then we have okay, so the password we could have the same. Now when I now do it, it's gonna create the user for me, okay? But the problem not not no problem, but the password now is gonna be encrypted. Let's see. You could just click on this or this and it's going to reload the thing. So click there and then here. And now you can see this is the first one and this is the second one. The password is encrypted. Amazing. Super good progress so far and we're going to continue from here.